are you about to cast that DPC or flow slab? Do you want to be sure of the exact quantities of materials to order? Or you've received a quotation from your contractor who is supposed to do the casting and you need to double check. You don't want to start the work only to realize halfway through that you don't have enough materials to complete it. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the exact amount of materials you need to cast a slab so you have one less thing to worry about. Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be looking at how to calculate the volume of materials needed in a concrete slab. Now this slab can be suspended, that is a decking slab, or on grade, that is on the ground like your DPC. So we have an area and we also have a specified mix ratio of 1 to 2 is to 4. So the next thing for us to do will be to calculate how much cement sharp sand and gravel will be needed to cast this entire floor slab so what are the dimensions of the slab in question well the, the slab is 10 meters long six meters wide and has a thickness of 150 millimeters which is about six inches this is the area and thickness that we have to cast so going straight to the calculation here's the volume what's the volume of uh, concrete is simply the length by the breadth by the thickness which is 10 by 6 by 0 0.15 which gives us 9 cubic meters this value represents the volume of the wet concrete that is already mixed so therefore the volume of the dry materials will be equal to the volume of wet concrete which is 9 multiplied by 1.54 which gives us 13.86 cubic meters but why 1.54 what is this factor for well just follow along with me and i will explain why in a bit the first material that we will calculate is the cement our mix ratio is one is to two is to four I will just apply this simple fraction of material ratio divided by the sum of the ratio where the sum is 1 plus 2 plus 4 which equals 7. So cement becomes 1 over 7 multiplied by 13.86 which equals 1.98 cubic meters. Using the formula of density is equal to mass over volume we have that the mass, which is weight, is equal to density by volume. Now, with cement having a density of 1,440 kilogram per cubic meter, therefore, the weight is 1.98 multiplied by 1,440, which equals 2,851 kg. Now, cement comes in 50 kg bags, Therefore, we will need 2851 divided by 50, which gives us 57 bags. The next material to calculate is the sharp sand. Again, based on the simple fraction, the sharp sand is calculated from 2 over 7 multiplied by 13.86, which equals 3.96 cubic meters. Similarly, the weight is equal to density by volume, with sand having a density of 1,600 kg per cubic meter. Therefore, the weight is 3.96 times 1,600, which equals 6,336 kg, or about 6.3 tons. The last of the three materials to calculate is the coarse aggregates. Or gravel again based on simple fraction the gravel is calculated from 4 over 7 multiplied by 13.86 which equals 7.92 cubic meters as before the weight is equal to density by volume with gravel having a density of 1500 kilogram per cubic meter therefore the weight is 7.92 multiplied by 1,500, which gives us 11,880 kilograms, or about 
1.9 tons. So, in summary, in order for us to cast a 10 meter by 6 meter by 0.15 mm thick slab using a mixed ratio of 1, 2, 4, we will require 57 bags of cement, 6.3 tons of sharp sand, and 11.9 tons of gravel. Now, back to the factor of 1.54 that was used to multiply the wet concrete volume. I see some people making the mistake of ignoring this when estimating concrete volumes. The reason for multiplying the wet concrete volume by a factor of 1.54, which gives us the volume of the required dry mix, is to account for the air voids or gaps that exist between the individual particles of the materials used to make the concrete. These voids can occur due to the irregular shapes of the particles and the spaces between them. To ensure that the final concrete mix has the correct proportions of cement, sand and aggregate, it is important to account for the void ratio. Multiplying the wet concrete volume by a factor of 1.54 is a standard practice in the construction industry to adjust for this increase in volume cost by the voids. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to share them in the comment section below. I will do my best to respond to each and every one. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. By hitting the notification bell, you'll be notified when we release new videos like this one. Thanks again and have a great day.